Our next tip is going to be fabrication of a dorsal blocking splint. A dorsal blocking splint is used after a flexor tendon injury or nerve injury and repair when our goal is to immobilize the wrist and fingers in a position of protection, preventing wrist extension and active finger extension so that we don't rupture the repaired uh, structures. We are going to immobilize the wrist in slight flexion and the MCP joints in maximum flexion with the IP joints in extension. The idea is to pick a highly conforming material so that your job is easy. It totally captures all of the knuckle structures so that the inside hand is not banging up against a rigid material. You want something that is conforming and drapey but provides enough, enough support and rigidity. So I'm going to demonstrate that splint for you right now. In positioning my patient, I want to maintain wrist flexion 20 to 30 degrees and MCP flexion of about 70 to 90 degrees. In order to maintain this position, I'm going to have my patient make a fist with her opposite hand and hold it underneath the IP joints to keep them straight. And that way I don't have to worry about the position. I'm going to take my material out of the splint pan. I am using a material called soft fit, 1 8 inch thick, which is highly conforming and drapey, and it's very white. And I'm just going to stretch it over the knuckles and pull it down the forearm so you can see how well it conforms to the hand. You can actually see all the joints as it drapes around them. What's nice about this material is it will become hard and rigid. It's very soft as it goes on, but it totally conforms to my bent MCP joints and the straightness of my fingers. I can catch it on the ends of my fingertips so I know exactly where I need to trim. And the fact that it conforms so well at the MCP joints, I no longer need to do any pinching or dog ears as they're called in order to make the material bend right here. It molds uh, really well. You can get this material in a perforated material. It's going to go over the back of the hand, probably over some dressings. This is a great coated material, very easy to work with, has excellent memory. So if you do make a mistake, you can take the material and throw it right back into the hot water to redo. We'll just give this a second to harden. Make sure your patient maintains the proper position while the material hardens. And you can even mark with your fingernail all the areas that you would want to trim.